episode of Jurassic World the game where today that happens we we, we try and record and the game goes <laughs> no oh no you want you want to break again you want to break okay you want to break again how about third time's the charm eh third time hey oh my god it, it unlocked it oh <gasps> I didn't know that Oh, exciting. So, this is blue. Now, this wasn't a tournament that I needed to necessarily do. But, guys, I did it. I got 2,500 trophies. In fact, if I have the screenshots, I'll put up. If I remember to put up. It was like three hours until it was done. And I got into Dominator League. Or four or five, whatever it was. Then, two hours before, you know, the tournament ended... It said, oh, right, okay, don't, oh, yeah, well, okay, we can open it, cool, 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 an extra thousand buckaroos, and, and unlocking it, and there it is, so, I, I just got into the Dominate League, and two hours before it was about to end, I decided I'll check on it, you know, just to see, possibly, possibly, maybe, I might get pushed down, and I did, I couldn't believe it, I had 2,300 trophies, and just to be safe, I went, right, sod it, it'll not go above 2,500, so I got that, and luckily, it was exactly that. Oh, oh, we got Giganotosaurus there. Oh, that was good. I don't think we need to unlock that, but we have blue finally unlocked. Again, just like all the celebrity dinosaurs, you don't unlock them by doing the, the monthly shenanigans. So we are hopefully going to unlock not only blue, but hopefully Toro as well. Now, I don't know if we're gonna unlock Toro today. I'm gonna have a quick check around to see what we got on the go. So we still, I've got three hours to do these missions, so we'll definitely do that. And you ready? Are you ready? Oh, wait, hold on. Do we hatch how many? One more? One more? No, we're good. Okay, let's see. Well, I was on 3,000, and now look, we're on freaking 7,300. Oh, yeah. Now, I think they've made the requirements a lot smaller, so I think it's 1,500. Yeah, 1,500. It used to be like 1,800 or 2,000 at one point, but they've decided to scrap that. So now we have the Echo. Uh, event thing going on, whatever you want to call it. So, let's have a look. Now, one of the things that I needed to unlock was Bumpy, but we couldn't unlock Bumpy because I needed a level 30 Dilophosaur Gen 2, which I only have one of, and I don't have it unlocked. If we go to search, I don't have it. And also, we have freaking, what's it called, Chris Pratt going on about, oh, we need to save the planet, but there you go. <laughs> Save the dinosaur. So, we have this. Now, a level 30 di- It did it again. It, it did it again as soon as I click something. No, Owen! Go send it yourself, damn it. If I do it again, watch. Okay, good. There we go. I can, however, spend 8,000 bucks to get a level 30 to Lofasaur Gen 2. The offer expires in six days. And... This event expires in six days. Now, what's interesting is in three days, you get the Dilophosaur Gen 2 tournament. So, I have a feeling that as soon as the tournament ends, Bumpy disappears. So, that kind of sucks. So, as soon as I unlock Dilophosaur Gen 2, I can't unlock Bumpy. And because there's a chance that we might have a hybrid that has Bumpy, I think I kind of need to spend it. It's unfortunate. I will 100% unlock the Lovesaw Gen 2 this time. Swearsies. <laughs> I promise this time I'll do it. So, I am curious. Is it... Half my books. Half my books are going to disappear to it. And... I don't know, maybe there'll be a different requirement to get Bumpy next time. I am curious, actually. We only have one level 10 Bumpy. This creature is in the repository. Okay. It's up the butty. Uh, <laughs> next. I don't know. I don't know. We do have Toro. Now, Toro, I think we're definitely going to get. Because it is basically... <gasps> Toro's changed to Rexy! Oh my god! So I need the level 40 Cenozoic, I need the level 30 Ostrophrygosaurus, and I think I have zero Ostrophrygosauruses at the moment. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to have to spend 8,000 bucks. <gasps> 8,000 bucks! But at least we've unlocked it, right? At least we've unlocked it. So, that in mind, let's quickly go to the Trade Harbor. 
Let's click on Dilophosaur Gen 2. Let's click on this. And there, there's Owen again. Oh, it says 80% off. No way would it be worth 42,000. No way. I, I think that's a big fat lie. But 8,000 bucks. There we go. And boom. Oh, 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 for a second there, guys. I saw the level 10 and went, did I just spend 8,000 bucks for one level 10? But no, no, there it is. Oh, quickly. Okay, we, we get 100 bucks back. Okay, it's not so bad. Owen, oh, would you please bugger off? Gee, I'm recording a video. God, some people. <laughs> <laughs> right, done that. Hatched a dinosaur. Although, technically, that didn't count as hatching. According to the missions. Uh, we could just claim all. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Oh my god, Gorinosaurus! Oh, wait, was that was that a good one? Oh, I think it was. Maybe it was guaranteed a good one, because that was a lot. Okay, if it was from this pack, then maybe. Okay, that was a that was a good one. Never mind. So 260 from that. Also, I've got, you might notice I got this on. It's like a ice thing because it is now summer in Japan. And I don't have AC in this room. And I'm gonna die. So you you may come accustomed to this guy. Maybe I'll put little little eyes on, on one side so it looks like a snake or something. I know, but then it's wet, so it'll probably just come off. I don't know. We'll draw our eyes on it, maybe. So, oh, Ichthyostega, good. Terrible pack that we got it from with the VIP. So that was very lucky. But now, we're kind of low on DNA. I'm very high on VIP points. And I'm quite low on books. So I need to make use of every single instant hatch. It needs to be worth something. And I think it's 250 for the longest to instant hatch something. So we can't go wasting those on things that aren't basically tournament creatures. Because those are super quick and only cost maybe... Well, tournament creatures are expensive, so it'll take a long time, so we need to use it for that. But everything else should be pretty fast, including the super hybrids. Super hybrids, I think, is eight hours, which is the best for any dinosaur in the game. Eight hours is, oh, it's just one day. It's nothing, nothing at all. Just go to sleep and it's up. Whereas the tournament creature is like a week or something ridiculous. We may, we, as you can see, we've got four days still left in the hatchery for something that was probably a tournament creature that I'm hatching away. Right. Oh my god, we got so much. This is awesome. All the food. All the VIP points. So we don't get double. That's a shame, even though we are VIP. More packs. <gasps> Sweet. Sweet super dear. More. Okay. Oh, Diplocalus. Diplocolulus. Diplocolulus. Something like that. I don't know. We just got it fluffy. Why did we call it fluffy? I don't know. We just did. Oh, we're getting loads of books, though. We got 350 with 75 twice now. So I think we were on 8,000 bucks or something before. Now we're on 9,000 or we're just, just at 9,000. We've almost got 1,000 bucks from this so far. So at least we're getting some of that back. Because I think it's about 1,500 bucks or so to instant hatch a tournament creature. Getting a lot of super DNA. A lot of openings. Very good. Very happy. Not much, not very happy with the, uh, the coin though. Ooh, Postosuchus, okay. Got plenty of those from that uh, glitch that we used to be able to do. And an Echo! Oh, we don't have an Echo, I don't think. Or maybe we do. I think we got two. Ooh, Amber. Never really see Amber. Pachycephalosaurus there. Nice, nice, nice. And then 30. All of the... Oh, another thousand Amber. Oh, oh, what is this one? Of Rodriguez Solitaire. Nice. And 2,600 VIP points. Oh, this is awesome. Another 1,000 Amber. Did we used to get Amber? I don't think we used to get Amber, but now we are. And a cooler suchus. You know about Path of Titans? We just added that to the game. Right. Come on. Okay, we're getting a lot. Oh, and there we go. That was basically half of the prizes you could win so far. Oh! Oh, so what was the pack that was basically guaranteed a rare? Seasonal Stars. Was it this one? Oh, it was this one. Oh, nice. The, the, the book is like 10 books you win from that, which is terrible. Hey, we did a thing that I didn't know we were doing. Sweet. I think there was an Omega 09 event not too long ago. Dilophosaur. Very good. Open all the packs. I'm sure we're going to have some VIP mission that wants me to do that. Might have... Probably best to have saved it. 
Oh, a complete fossil pack as well as lots of juicy books. Get in. Oh, 2,000, I think, almost. Complete fossil. What's it going to be? Oh, it's a T-Rex. I was hoping it would be the uh, Ichthyosaur or something, but a T-Rex is just as good. Right. And now we're sort of getting towards that. Oh, we could collect the DNA from this, but not the pack just yet. Oh, no, we didn't get the pack. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, disappointed. All right, and that is that. All done. Okay, so we got five hours. Right, we've unlocked Bumpy. What else is there to unlock? Oh, no, we haven't. Now we'll unlock Bumpy. We'll trade everything in. There's nothing that's too high level. And there goes... The th level 30, Dilophosaur Gen, Gen uh, 2. If we'd got another 3, we could have got the Tyrannolophosaurus. But I'm not bothered about that. We're going to be able to unlock the Dilophosaur Gen 2 in the tournament that's just around the corner. So there's no point saving that when we could get Bumpy unlocked. And that way we unlock both of them. So we have a Bumpy ready. Now, let's check the state of the hatcheries. We have, I think... Four free speed-ups that need to be used. So with that in mind, let's have a look. I think Bumpy's going to be one of those creatures that definitely needs to be sped up. Because it's going to take a week or something. It's one of those weird ones. Let's have a look. There's Bumpy. So it kind of acts like a tournament creature. Let's have a look. Hatch. Yeah, if it's 250, it's an expensive one. We'll use the instant hatch to get Bumpy. And oh, no longer in containment. Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't we have... Did we have a bumpy? Wait a minute. Did I just get jipped out of a bumpy? Yes. Did it just delete it because it was in the repository? I'm going to need to look back at this video. If that's a glitch and you hatch something and then it deletes what was ever in the repository. It was that, right? We, we looked at something and it said repository. We only have one level 10 bumpy. Ooh, that's a bit cheeky if that is the case. If that is the case. I feel like it was though. I don't know. I feel like I just lost a Bumpy. I've already claimed Evo 1. Yeah, so I must have had it. Because I've already claimed this. I just... It just killed a Bumpy. Ooh, that's naughty, game. That's naughty. So, tag loading. <laughs> Give me monies, please. Whoa. Ooh. So now I need seven. I thought I needed six, but now I need seven. If, if not, and I made a mistake, I apologize. But I feel like... Or was it Ostrophicosaurus? No! No, it was! It said at the bottom, in repository. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back. Editing Beaver, are you there? Are, are, are you not under too much stress? Can you look back and find it? If it, if this is blank, then he then he was busy, okay? Which is fair enough. <laughs> okay, but we don't have the Ostrophicosaurus, which I need that for Toro. But we've got 10 days left on that. We do, however, need this at level 40. And we do need a level 40... Which we don't have any. Ooh, and I don't want to waste. What What's happening in my hatchery at the moment? A four day, four day, four day. It's doable. It's going to be close, but it's doable. We could hatch the Ostrophicosauruses now, but is there any need? Right. Okay, with that sort of chaos out of the way, let's do a battle stage of Now, I tried to do this last time, and we only had carnivores. And we're kind of in the same boat. <laughs> Although, that's not so bad. And then we'll just go Jurassic. What do you think the chances are that they'll switch to Microposaurus? I think they will. I'm going to bet they will. And then I'm going to put this guy in. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Can we do it? We tried it last time. Now I have to go for... Oh, I died one hit! It doesn't matter what they go for. <laughs> oh, I have miscalculated. Oh, damn. I should have put in a carnival. Should have put a carnivore in. You know he's going to have two. So just in case he swaps out and goes for an attack, I'll go for one block. Oh, it didn't matter. I just wasted. Oh, we're definitely dead. We are. Yeah, we're so dead. If I can make this work, it'll be a bloody miracle. I'm just going to go for reserve. I have to. I have to. I can't. I think we've lost it. I don't know. I think, I think it's gone. He can kill us in two, and he'll probably just go for two. It's like all out. Yeah, okay, sweet, cool, nice. Well, well done. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, then. I can do this. I can do this. Let's go for that. Sod you, Microposaurus. So you kill me in two, so I'm going to go for a block. And we've survived. Oh, no, it's warmed up. No! No! It's warmed up! No, it's sad. No, I'm just hot. So what do I do here, do you think? I, if I go for two, and he's went for two reserve, he can still come. So I may as well go for two, two uh, reserve. Oh, perfect. Now, technically, he shouldn't go to kill me because I could have two block. But I feel like he will watch. <gasps> oh, he didn't. Oh, sweet. Okay, hold on. I want to switch in Pachygalosaurus because that's got more health. And that way, I do it. At least, I think I need two hits to kill me. I think I need three. But it could be scraping it. Oh, that's brilliant. I didn't check to see how many attacks he had, though. So that's not so good. I might factor in just one. Actually, I'm not factoring any. Oh! Oh, it pays off! Come on. Come on. Go for four. Don't go for two. Don't go for three. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that felt nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> right. Okay, so he's got nothing. However, this is... Oh, God, it's taking too much. It's taking too much. I'm dead. I'm dead. You kill me in two. It's over. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Sod it. I've got three recoveries. I'm doing it with this one. It's happening. I don't care. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm gonna go for one block anyway. This is this this is the team you need. Level 40 Pachygalosaurus, level 40 Metrophodon, and then probably another amphibian would be great here. So now I can go for one block, one reserve. That's brilliant. You can't touch me at all now. Right, and now I, I will go for just four reserves now. Hopefully it goes for all its attacks. And it does go for two, two block, so it needs to go for two minimum. Hopefully it goes for three. Oh, actually, not even better. Right, so he's got two block. Um, I'm, I could attack him, I could kill him, but factoring the two is going to leave Metrophodon a bit too weak. So I'm not going to do that. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, even better! Now he's only got one block, and I've got eight. So at this point, that kills him, factoring the one, and then two reserves. And he did even go for it. Nice. So Microvasuchus is going to go for three, because I could have two block. And in doing so, leaves itself with only one block. Instead of 1,000 attack, I do 7,000. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so that's two, I think. One, two. <gasps> Three factor in the one. And then two reserves. Yep, he went for it as well. This is just shows, man. To do one infinite battle, I need to do this. Ludia, why did you take it out? Why did you take out the glitch? It was brilliant. Where you could just reload until you got a really good pack. Because look what it takes me to even win one. God. I may as well just go all out. Come on, Scorpius Rex. Yip -yip. We still need Chaos Theory to give us something good. Capitatius gave us Scorpius Rex, which was good. But Chaos Theory has just given us the Allosaur that was already in. Oh, 150 bucks. That's all he needed. Thank you. Right, and next one's a rare. Oh, even better. Could be a hundred bucks each time. The code. No. See to you. I'm busy. I'm doing things. <laughs> right, so we still have three instant hatches. Now, that takes six days to come back. And we've started everything, I think. We've done a little bit of the instant fuses. We've just done some of the instant recoveries. And we've got the eggs. So... With that in mind, let's have a look. Is there anything that we need? I don't, I really don't want to waste an Ostafricosaurus. I don't want to do it. But at the same time, actually we could get another Bumpy with for a level 30 Tujangasaur. Should we do that? Heck yeah, let's do that. Okay. I don't know why it's saying 97% up in the coin. Is that just, like, what does this mean? Does that mean just generally? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't care. 40 and it's free. Oh, thank God I didn't instant speed it up. 
I was tempted. I think a level 30 will probably need an instant speed up. Or at least it'll cost bucks. But I, I didn't even know. Yeah, don't insta fuse it. Don't click that. Hmm. I'm curious. It's less than five minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we'll feed you to level 20. Feed you to level 20. For a couple of bucks? When it could, you know, when I'm fusing something that's a lot bigger, 15 bucks? That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. So that is a level 30. And I'll tell you what, I'll instant fuse the level 40, because you never know. It is just a common, but I will do that. Oh, freaking hello, and what is it this time? Blah, 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 blah. Does it listen to dinosaurs? Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, that's level 40. Collect 10 bucks, because apparently I've never collected that. Jeez. Collect that. Collect the food. And now we should be able to get a free bumpy. As long as it doesn't overwrite the other one. Hey. There we go. Bumpy. Thanks for rusting. That saved 6,000 DNA, which is a lot. Okay. So we have bumpy. How many of the other things? We have Rodriguez, which we have a level 30 and a level 10. Or it could be a level 20. Let's have a look. Where's the birdies? It's a level 10. So we don't need to worry about that. But remember, we haven't had hybrids in this game, I don't think, for a long time. Like, what was the last new one? Like the super hybrids? Interrupted Gen 2, maybe? So I feel like there's something cooking. And it's gonna... It might include the celebrity dinosaur. So I need to think about just what... Di <laughs> what do? Or what thou... I get to level 40. So it needs to be things that take a long time to hatch and cost a lot because of that. Now we bought a bunch of dinosaurs, a bunch of creatures when it was 40% off. So we've saved a lot of DNA. We probably would be down to like 10,000 DNA if I hadn't done that, which is really good. There's still a lot of Panthera, Dreadnoughtus I don't have, Dilophosaur Gen, Gen 2 I don't have, Geostone Berger I don't have. But Jadosaur, I don't have. Monkadactylus. This was the time when I just went, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Although, saying that, a lot of these probably were the events, so you couldn't unlock them anyway. Toro, we will get. Carbon Emmys, I have. Tyrannosaur Buck, Tyrannosaurus Doe. They haven't been unlockable yet. Karinosaur, I think, was a tournament. Dinosuchus. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. Just get to the things that I can hatch, damn it. Eh. 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 Oh, there we go. Okay, so Indoraptor, I maybe a week that's a very good one to speed up but i'm looking at this 82,000 for the badger which we don't have level 40 and that'll be a freaking good one 4,348 okay well instant hatch oh it's 500 to instant hatch it that's the most i've seen whoa okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly throw a Triceratops in. That's what I'm going to do. Just to use that free spot. Right. We do have this one, which is 50 bucks. Now, in doing so, I want to throw in that amphibian. Let's see how much. Because 500's a lot. Where's the hatchies? There he is. Hatch it. 50 bucks or 10 times that to get it instantly. We don't need it instantly. So, how long is it going to take? Six days! Which is weird, because I think a normal tournament creature is also, well, seven days. And that does not cost 500. I think it's 250. Again, Stegosaur proving that it's worth every penny of DNA. It's, it's amazing. I love this creature. <gasps> we got to level 40. Ooh. Right. Okay. So there's hatching a creature. Brilliant. Almost got another one. VIP season. Hatch amphibians. Spend loyalty points Ooh, that's oh that's a pretty penny okay let's get some solid gold guys it's an alumni um yeah solid golds are just worth it for double the price you get one creature whereas this case you get two parasol eh, kind of the worser ones to get i'll be honest does that count there we go. Probably only need to buy one pack, but here we are. 800! Ah, oh, that's like three? Two, four, six, four even. And, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's getting more each time now. Oh, no, it was four. 
get in. And we have another, we have an echo that we don't even have to hatch. Plonk you down. And there it is. Echo. We have two blues and two echoes in the park because of the uh, raptor enclosure, which is very odd. Echo is one of the four raptors trained by Owen Grady at Jurassic World. Do you think that's the first fact that they say for all of them? Did you know it was one of the raptors? But imagine, imagine instead of two dinosaurs to make a hybrid, they do like three dinosaurs or four dinosaurs. Imagine max level blue, max level echo, max level delta, and a max level Charlie all have to be put into one like mega raptor. <laughs> We're back. Oh, my, my whole computer crashed. That is the recorder of the game, recorder for the face cam, recorder for the audio. But luckily, Audacity has a great thing, which is what I used to record, that auto saves stuff and you can retrieve it. Uh, luckily, I have a special setting on my OBS, the face cam that you can see that saves it as a FLV file before exporting it. If you do that, there's a way to re-export it afterwards if a crash happens. So I got the face cam. The only one I was like, okay, the, the this thing, the, the game you can see right there. I was like, oh God, if I can't get that, then what's the point? And luckily I had an issue when I was recording Path of Titans not too long ago. And I bought this software called Wondershare Repair. Repair it, I think it is. Repair it, yep. And it costs money, but it saved everything like it, it's recovered what you've just been watching that is completely recovered even if you want to know the path of titans ram for rinkus episode the majority of that was corrupted but luckily that software it's completely not paid for promotion or anything but it has saved me twice now worth every single penny <laughs> but oh my god that's just but we're here you know, d d the, these are the things, right? You think being a YouTuber, oh, it's easy. Yeah, whatever. You, just, whatever. you have to learn so much. You have to learn so much about computers, so much about like frame rates and what things cause crashes. And oh, it's, it's fun. I'm not going to say it's not easy, but there are definitely certain things that, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, just the headache. And yesterday I made a complete error when I was recording about the Titan video and I forgot to export my own audio. So the footage was kind of wasted because I wasn't talking in it. <laughs> so it's just been like the last 24 hours have been horrendous. But we're here and we survive. Remember guys, it's not about the wins per se. It's about what you do when you get knocked down. Do you get back up? Just lie there that time everything pass you by no you get back up that's what it's all about that's what life's about how you handle the knockbacks and we're here and because i've been knocked back so many times with footages and stuff i know what to do exactly when i get knocked back and sometimes it doesn't affect me in the slightest it's brilliant oh but we are here episode 554 i think it was or 50 i think it's 54 and we're still encountering issues it's brilliant i love it i'm just waiting for everything to crash again <laughs> Hopefully not. Jesus. Oh. <clears throat> I was going to say something, wasn't I? I can't remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, yes. I remember what I was going to say. Yes, my bumpy disappeared. I've, I've already edited what I have of this video so far. And it's gone. Just vanished. It was in the repository. But as soon as I made that, it just took it from the repository and went gone i guess <laughs> and i had to feed it again so i mean that's like six thousand dna down it's not the end of the world but it's just a glitch that ludio jam city might want to know about like if you have something in the repository and you get an instant hatch one or something like that then uh there's a glitch where it actually deletes whatever was in the repository and replaces it with something completely new which kind of makes me wonder now if i've got anything that uh, is valuable in here maybe i want to just take it out if i've got more than one of them like this the thalassemia dromius i have eight of these guys wait what when did when did i get eight I remember getting it. Okay, okay. This is, I'm assuming, a tournament creature that I just bought loads of them, hatched them, but I just never had the fuses. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can get this thing to level 40. It's going to be a tournament creature. It's, it's not going to be the best. It's better than a legendary, but worse than a VIP creature. So that, yeah. 
There you have it. So how many? I've got three more. That's it. That's perfect. And then everything's on a cooldown. So I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting to see what happens with the next hybrids that come out. Because there's got to be a few. There's got to be some big ones. Oh, I shouldn't have done one of them. I'm actually one short. <gasps> yes. I mean, there it is. Level 30. Really getting those colors. But I, now I need to go activate 80. Oh, first time. Actually, not so bad. <laughs> okay, that's good. And now we can just do one final amazing instant fuse for 180 to get a level 40. And yeah, place you there. Oh, nice. 4,008 health and 600 and something attack, was it? 603 attack. So, oh, it's got so much health. And then let's just collect all of these. Yes, 200 bucks. What, what, what do we have? The last Madromius has a highly coordinated or highly ornated head crest resembling a pharaoh's crown. It was originally thought that Thalassomodromius would skim feed like a pelican, but we now know that to be false. It was also likely hunted on the ground, like the modern stork, and T. Sethi is named after the Egyptian god Set, due to the naming or namer confusing a picture of Amun, who wears the pharaoh's headdress for Set. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of see it. Yeah. It does have a bit of that pharaoh, like the, the head at the back. Oh, okay. Confusing for Set. Wasn't he like the, the Anubis god or something? Right, you had Set, you had Ra. Yeah, like Ra was the eagle. Yeah, Set was Anubis, I think. Like the Anubis god, the god who weighed your heart against a feather. And if you your heart weighed less than a feather, then you had been a good person. But if it weighed more than a feather, then you were not a good person. Or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, we have that level. I didn't even expect to level up that. Jesus. What else have I got in the depository or repository that I should probably think about taking out just in case something goes wrong? Uh, we've got the Secodonta hybrid. Zalmoxes is fine. Oh my god, there's so many in here. One iguana sutures. It should tell you what level they are, not what coin. I don't care about... Wait, what's Conotaurus? Why has it got Zalmonodon as its picture? And why did it disappear when I clicked it? Oh, there's something going... It's still there. It's still there. And you click on that. Oh, oh there's some weird glitch. There's Zalmonodon. But then you go further. You know what it must be? I must have, it must have been put in here and then I fused it to make something or, you know, to sell something for whatever in the trade harbor, but it's still technically here. I mean, it's not, but it's saying it is because I haven't taken it out. Therefore, it's still saved it like Ceratosaurus right there, which has also disappeared, but it's showing the, the mud skipper thing. What is going on? Whoa, there are some weird glitches going on in here, man. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if Bumpy did anything like that. That's something not right with that repository. I think they might need to get on top of that. But let's have a look at what battles we have. We have Battle for Survival, which is always a, a lovely fun one to do. Easy speed up. It's a two-hit winner. I was, I was so frustrated, guys. But then I went outside and I enjoyed the, the, the sunlight. The, it's summer, like I mentioned earlier. I don't have this on at the moment because I cooled down. We, we, the heat has passed. And I went outside. I got myself a... What is this? Like a lemon... What is it? Lemon, like water that's straight out of the, the vending machine outside. And it's freezing cold. And I was just like, how can I be annoyed when I have lovely sunshine? <laughs> Whereas if I was in the UK, it'd be bloody miserable weather. So I'd be, I'd be like, well, I don't win. I've lost all the stuff, possibly. And it's also miserable. <laughs> when I was like, ah, it's actually not too bad. <laughs> it's actually because weather, it does affect you. It, it does whether you want to admit it or not. Have sunlight just makes you feel good. Makes you feel happy. And now I know, I know we, well, I, I don't know what the word is. No matter what happens, I know for a fact that if anything goes wrong, my PC can crash. 
and everything will be saved. Doesn't matter. I could, like, well, I was going to say the computer could blow, but no, then then I would have lost everything. <laughs> let's, let's, let's all get too ahead of ourselves now, Jim. Uh, this is the only guy that I probably should have level 40. Or at least I need the Alangosaurus, because that way it's just one hit and then another two hits and it's dead. But this guy is just a tiny, tiny fraction of a bit off killing the Hatsocoptrix in two hits. Mm. You know, just the right amount of sweet. Right amount of sweet. It's lovely. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Also, they have strawberry. They do seasonal things. It's like, oh, gotta have the strawberry water while it's around. <laughs> Stay hydrated. It's important. Have you had your liter of water today? Or whatever it is. Because I forget. I catch myself and go, why do I not feel good? Because I haven't drank any water. Oh, yeah, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one out of 25. We have 27 days. Do you think we can get the Brachiosaurus? Because the, the stuff you get in these packs are brilliant. However, it's just super hard. I think with this one, those two, the survival of whatever. <gasps> Freebies! And then we'll just we'll just put you in. Uh, who cares? Um, and the Nozuda Ceratops are two easy missions that I can knock out. Don't, don't take my best creatures or anything. And I was curious because this is the first time that I've done a tournament where, I, I mean, I didn't know I was going to unlock blue, actually. So I'm quite happy I did that. I thought I was just going to get one blue. So I usually do the tournaments where it's unlocking a new creature, not a blue or something where you, you get one of them. Great. Which is what happened, I think, last time with the bumpy. We got one bumpy and it didn't unlock. So... Although, maybe it did unlock. Maybe I didn't even need to unlock bumpy. Maybe I... Ooh. Ooh, that would be interesting. I never clicked make another bumpy, did I? But we did unlock it. I'm pretty sure. I'll click on Toro. Because Toro and Bumpy came out around about the same time. So if Toro I can't buy any more of, and it's unlocked, or either or. If it's unlocked, then I wasted time on the bumpy. But if it isn't unlocked then I needed to buy that Bumpy and in turn accidentally kill the Bumpy that was in the repository. Why? I don't know. The game just... You know what the problem is, right? When a game's this old, it's going to take a lot of upkeep, right? Because there's going to be a lot of spaghetti code in there because it's it's went through so many iterations. It's ran on so many devices. It needed this for that and that for this. And now they're, they've probably got that... They've forgotten about the code for the repository and they're putting in an unlock feature for certain creatures which doesn't go the normal way so it probably just overwrites whatever was in the repository and that like it's there's a lot of upkeep uh, overkeep oh, I can't even talk there's a lot of upkeep with these games that you, you know we don't really realize and I bet they don't even realize either. they go oh wait the, the guy who wrote the code for this is gone now so I just came into it not knowing that that was a thing. And before you know it, hey, hello, you've lost your dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I might I might send them an email. I might email them about that just because I don't want anyone else to have to waste it. Again, it was only what, like 6,000 DNA. There's still 6,000 DNA that I would like to have had for something else. As long as we've got it unlocked. That's the important part. But I could have had a level 20 bumpy. Could have. Should have. But don't. Right. We've only got two left. And that is it. Acrocanthosaurus does it. You were waiting for it, weren't you? Acrocanthosaurus does it! Oh, it hasn't done it yet. Hasn't done it yet. Calm down. Calm, calm down now. Wait a second. We'll do the seven. Seven animation. And we'll get to see it. How much damage? Oh my god, it's only a five, though. Oh, I'm coming for you. 15,000. Agrocanosaurus. There we go. <laughs> so that is two out of the 25. We unlock Nozuda Ceratops, or at least we get one. I don't think you unlock it. Because that one's quite common, the Nozuto. That's two out of 25, guys. Look at that. We're close. We're so close. Also, I noticed this is a thousand bucks to enter. What's the best thing you can win? Indominus Rex. Is it worth it? No. Thousand bucks for that? Hell no. <laughs> However, this is interesting. Because then you get all of the statues of the Raptor Squad. And it's only around for six days. But it's probably really... It's only two battles, I think. Or maybe three. 
if the first one doesn't count. We've got Jurassic World event. Let's see what the, uh, okay. Very hard creatures. Gotcha. What about earth shattering Therizinosaurus? Not so hard. Ooh, yes. You need only three herbivores. Oh, okay. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's super easy. Hold on. Let's put you in first. And then some... Yeah, let's do this one. We're gonna do three! Oh, look at this! I'm doing so good with Jurassic World the game at the moment. <laughs> doing tournaments that really I don't really need to do, but I do them anyway. Oh. Pterodostro. Goes for two hits. Does a hefty chunk of damage. And is also... Dead? No. Why? He's got lovely hair. Lovely, lovely hairy chest. Baleen bristle and a pompadour crown. They, they were on something when they designed that. Man. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that's one. We've got two left. Is it harder? No. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, wait, hold on. However, we can only use one creature now. Oh, sorry, two. I'm assuming the next one will be one. That's what I was thinking. I was already thinking ahead. I was like, this isn't so bad. It goes for one. We kill him in two. We got three. There you go. That's the Jurassic World of Game rhyme. rhyme. <laughs> Look, okay. I don't come here to be judged, right? I don't need you to say, that made no sense. Comment that. <laughs> Tell him be stupid. Oh, wait, it's three. I'll just use armor mana then. It's only three days. Yeah, plenty of time. And then those. And then that's it. Just one shot all of them. And we get a Therizinosaurus. I think we unlock Therizinosaurus. But we've already got it. Remember, it's all about the pack. And it's all about the VIP points. More importantly, more important than that. It's about unlocking the earth-shattering event. Uh, I could do that, I think. Yep, dead. No! <laughs> In comes Pterodactylus. Fucking VIP creature. So good. So good. Only worth 5,000 DNA. That's less than a bumpy. And yet... Oh, wait, no, it's 10,000. It must be 10,000 if you sell it for 5,000. So, yeah, that makes sense. But so freaking good. And there we go. There is an Asaurus pack. Another 100 bucks. 500 DNA. And 1,300 VIP points. As well as there is an Azorus being. Oh, that's three. <gasps> I can't even see the little thing on the... On the it's it's uh, obstructed by the little metal thing down there. I don't even see my progress. Right. So we do have Beasts of the Biodome, which is stupid because that's super hard. And we have the Welcome to Jurassic World. There is probably one of these. Any three creatures does go towards it. But again, super hard. And yes, you get gold rewards, which guarantees you a legendary. But again, there's no buck. So is it worth it? Probably not. And anyway, guys, let's just quickly collect all of our things. Although, not that. Yep. Yep. I think we're done. Oh, wait, hold on. We've done this. I haven't done this. We could get some extra stuffs here. Where was that? Is that DNA for... <laughs> no. Uh, definitely not. Let's just do the usual. Swapping Apatosaurus fossils for DNA. You get about like 200 on average. For each one of those. Refreshing. 50 bucks for a chance at something good. 4 million. I'll trade that for 700 VIP points. Deodocarus instead of hatching it. May as well just get rid of that. I don't think I'll be needing it because I think it's already got a hybrid. Oh, that was Glyptodon, actually. Glyptodon had the hybrid. Mm, yeah, I'd rather have something good for trading for coin than I'm running low on food here. Oh, everything trading for food. Stop trying <laughs> Stop trying to get rid of me food. You know what? There we go. We'll get something for the food. And do I want to trade the dodo? A, a specific Easter statue? No, I'm okay. And do I want to trade VIP points for books? Actually, yes, because I have so many thousands of that. And that is... That. Do we have anything else in here? We. Oh, wait. Yes. Hold on. I was going to do that, wasn't I? I was going to check Toro. Can I get another Toro? No. I can't. So let's have a quick check on Bumpy now. Because Bumpy's in here, and I just want to see if I can buy another Bumpy. Because I have unlocked it. I think. Where are you, Bumpy? There you are, Bumpster. Oh, low battery. No worries. No worries. Oh. 
we could try and hatch it and see if we can buy another one. Do we? Do we put you in the hatchery? Uh, but then you will fill it up for four days. Or probably, probably longer, actually. No. I'm going to assume we've unlocked Bumpy. I, th I would hope so. Because I've traded like a level 30 Dilophosaur Gen 2 for it. But anyway, guys. See, I didn't miss a Dilophosaur Gen 2. Yeah, I, I saw the tweet and the little tweet you sent me. But anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that pop uh, podcast. Dino podcast. <laughs> you can't even talk anymore. It's been 10 years, guys. Oh, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.